cute oh, with yeah, his I little raincoat. Fall in love with Pura here on, oh, in a Jeep. My God. That's absolutely the winner. Yep. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of PlayStation Underground. You got Tim and Kristen here. Hey. And we're joined by Thomas Wilson, who is the co-studio head at Beanox and the creative director of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Uh, welcome, Thomas. Thank you very much. So we're taking a first look here at Dragon Mines in Crash Team Racing, which I'm super excited to visit. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we're checking out here today. Yeah, so Dragon Mines is one of the original tracks from Crash Team Racing. Uh, and like all the other tracks... Uh, our goal was to sort of re reimagine yeah. uh, what the track would look like uh, today. Oh, um, man. So what are some of the biggest differences that folks will, will be seeing? Yeah, so it was called Dragon Mines because it's Komodo Joe's track. So it's his home turf. It, it, you know, it's a track you'd be racing him on. But at the same time, there are no dragons. You know, to a certain extent, it was a reference to the character. But, you know, we told ourselves, you know what, what if, if uh, you know, there was a mining community would have stumbled upon uh, an old dragon's treasure. So here what you have is, as you can see on the side, is we have like the full community with, you know, little houses and uh, and uh, carts, carts going maybe. around. I was going to say, it's like this detailed like ecosystem <laughs> happening around you while you're racing. Yeah, yes. It seems like what, you know, the power of, you know, this version of the game has allowed you to do is it seems like there's like just stories to tell within these these tracks now yes. that, that weren't really there before. Yeah, and really our goal was to animate the world. Uh, you know, it was fairly static at the time because of the technological constraints. But when, the, you know, today we can have fun with uh, animating the world. So what you'll, what you'll see as you're racing, although it's not where you're paying attention first, is that we'll have miners digging at the same time as the music beat. Uh, yeah. We'll add, uh, you know, rats walking around doing funny stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, to the left here as you're coming by, there's a whack-a-mole just to the left there. Oh. Uh, and a dragon paying attention to what's going on in the track, trying to say. bring fire. But, you know, he's so old that he's uh, unsuccessful. Aw, uh, buddy. So, yeah, these are the things that we're doing. And now, you know, we can have piles of gold everywhere. Oh, oh you got crushed oh. there. My bad. Uh, yeah. All right. And so these are some of the things that we're thinking about when we're uh, redesigning uh, the track. You know, we're not redesigning the layout. The layout is exactly the same, same grid controls. But, you know, what's going on in the world, though, we can have fun with. That's nice. incredible. So, yeah, the, the muscle memory of, you know, shortcuts and, and different techniques techniques that players that played the original in 1999 had, those are still valid here. Yes. Ooh. But then there's just new set dressing and, and amazing new things to check out. There's so much to check out that since we have you here, uh, let's hop back in and maybe you can give us a bit of a tour of Dragon Mines. Absolutely. All right, so we're back at Dragon Mines here again. and. Let's uh, sort of take our time. We've gone into time trial, so we've got the whole place to ourselves. Yes. And Thomas, um, you know, would love your developer's insight into just some of the things that people might not notice um, as they're just whizzing by lap after lap. Yep. So we're taking this time to give you a quick tour of some of the, the attentions to detail that we like to put in every track. <laughs> so first thing you notice is that we've customized uh, all every starting gate uh, with, uh, with the track. Little animation. Theme. Yes. Yeah. So in this case, you know, you had uh, at the beginning of the track, you see the, these bats flying away. And now we have this miner trying to grab the last bat that yeah, stayed there. I guess he just doesn't like bats. That's, yeah. that's fine. And so that's as you're fine. racing, sometimes you'll see animations evolve over time as, as you're, you're, you're completing laps. Nice. Um, so, of course, you know, we filled uh, yeah, the caves so. with, uh, you know, gold nuggets and stuff. And just um, waterfalls and yes. gr grinding gears. And, and so here's an example of what you're seeing. A little bit of humor here. A whack-a-mole <laughs> right there. Uh, with the moles always hiding at the last minute. I and then you the have the moles, moles. kind of watching it. Yeah. Poor family. Yeah, poor just family. Just I judging. believe in you. Poor family of moles. And oh. then we have, like, the little Ferris wheel right here uh, probably working, uh, um, you know, some 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 kind of mechanism around the mine. Aww. Yeah, uh, hard at work. Yeah, and, then our, and dragon. then our dragon. So oh. dragon here, so we open up the cave area, and he's actually trying to be threatening, right? Trying to breathe fire as the racers are going by, but... You know, to no avail. I'm, He's too old. I'm deeply intimidated, buddy. <laughs> like, it's a good effort. Um, yeah. Good old um, boy. And so th this is one thing we'll be trying to do. Like, right here, uh, to your right, you have a rat getting stuck in uh, oh, no. in a wooden pole here. And so you have, Very like, his buddy. Friends, yes, yeah. have his buddy, like, <laughs> pulling by his ear. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> laughing it off uh, oh, as he's, as they try to pull him. Um, 
So these are, uh, this is the kind of humor we're putting. Like, you know, we've added piles of gold in the distance, uh, you know, carts uh, on rails and are stuff like that. Are there any shortcuts we could highlight? Yes, there's one, but it could be very difficult. You have one right here. So as you see, the carts oh, are, yeah. are sort of like rolling by. Okay. So I suggest you have a, a boost to pick that shortcut. Oh. This is probably one hot Otherwise, here. Otherwise, oh. I'm just going to get probably crushed oh, by it as you it's can coming. dump out on Yeah, the there track. you go. Okay. And so... But if you have oh. a boost, you can use that shortcut to your advantage okay. and, and, you know, skip the entire section. But as you can see, <laughs> it got squished twice. So definitely need to have uh, some kind of boost or, or uh, Aku Aku nice. mask, I recommend. Well, that was very selfless act of you to show everybody and, yes. and Barry getting squished like that. And so talking about the mining community, that's an example of an area that was empty uh, in the original game. So we really wanted to fill it up with, uh, with life, right? So now we have, like, little houses, yeah. uh, you know, uh, right basically located uh, right by the stone where, pillars. Where all the miners live and they're yeah. off time. And, and you see them like mining and moving and dancing at the same time as the, the, the music goes on. So these are the things. You even have my point there in the background, the little Beanox logo right, oh, right oh, in the distance. You sneaky devil. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So um, <laughs> these are things that we do. So, you know, that's the kind of humor and uh, life that we want to add to every track. It's amazing. There. It's uh, Yeah, there's so much going on here to, d to digest. So thanks for walking yeah. us through it. We're actually going to jump into another exciting track uh, in just a second.